It looks like the captain got blown back by the witch and then got struck right through his booty hole by a lightning from the Tempest Lick. Before this video starts, I just want to say that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything, and you can always change your mind in the future. Now back to the video. What up everyone, it's your boy Flows MG, and welcome back to the final episode of the Tabs Custom Faction Tournament. In the previous video, we saw the battles between the gods and the swordsmen to determine third place. And they were actually pretty close. Not gonna lie. But overall, in the end, it was the gods who took victory. And now, we must determine who the overall winners of the tournament are between... Drumroll, please. The Overpowered versus the Sorcerers. And with this map, I feel like Sorcerers have home field advantage. Because this is where they first took out the Beast. This was their very first battle. So before we get into the battles, let's go over the rules, shall we? The rules of the tournament are simple. We're down to the last two matches, the bronze match and the final battle. These last two matches are going to be a little different. Instead of a unit versus unit, it's going to be every unit in an all-out brawl to decide the victor. The bronze match will be decided in a best out of three, and the final will be decided in a best out of five. So who in the bronze match will seal their third place, and who in the final will seal their first place victory? It all comes down to this, the final showdowns. Let the battle begin. The units for the final battle have been set. Representing the side of the overpowered, every unit in the overpowered, right over here. In the front we have the captain, with his two friends, the present elf and the cactus. Behind him, we look back here, we have Blackbeard and the Deathbringer. Behind them, we have the Pirate Queen. And behind her are the two weird gods, the Void Monarch and the Chronomancer. And back here, we have the very powerful Super Saiyan Super Boxer, who's proved to be a very tough foe. But of course, there would be no battle without their opponents, who have very surprisingly took in, take, de, taken down many many big enemies with very few of their units we have the freaking sorcerers leading the way we have the shouter right behind them we have a potion seller and a candle head behind them right up here looks like we have a witch a wizard and an ice mage behind them we have the bone mage over there we have the sword caster and a celestial agi aegis over here i just don't know how to pronounce there's a healer right here in the middle because why not we have the Divine Arbiter over there, and the Solar Architect right here. And over here we have the Tempest Lick, who still, I must say, looks very creepy to me. And at the very end we have a Dragon. I must say, the point values between these two factions are vastly different. The Sorcerers are 9,000 in total. 9,000 something in total. The Overpowered are three times that in 27,000. Most of that is coming from the Super Boxer. The Sorcerer, have, the Sorcerer have managed to take down really, really big factions with not even every single one of their units. They have managed to take down the beasts. The very first episode of the Taps Custom Faction Tournament, they took down the beasts. They also managed to take down the Titans and the Gods. But are they going to be able to do the same here with the Overpowered? That is going to be very interesting. Whereas the Overpowered, their opponents have rather just gotten weaker and weaker. They started out fighting the Machines, then they went to the Marksmen, then they went to the Swordsmen. So in a sense, overall, their opponents got weaker and weaker. But, however, their opponents were weaker and weaker in further rounds, which means they had to have done something right. But either way, it's time to figure out who is the victor once and for all. It's a best out of five match. Begin! Okay, we need to slow it down just to catch everything. Okay, so let's look at everything that's happening right now. Oh, the captain is not having a good day. 
It looks like the captain got blown back by the witch, and then got struck right through his booty hole by a lightning from the Tempest Lick. It looks like the present elf is throwing his present while at the same time... Um... No, he's not, he's not dead yet. But damn, look at this army getting ready to go in. The cactus? It looks like he activated his ability, but he was also hit by the potion seller wherever it is. And behind them, it looks like no one has been attacked yet. So right now, they're focusing on the front lines. Begin! Okay, I have to keep... Oh, Blackbeard, he's making it rain hell! Okay. Oh, wait, the super... No, wait a minute. Oh. It, it looks like the, uh... Looks like the present elf ejected a super peasant, maybe. Oh. I mean, all is fair in this sense. Oh, they took down the fire breathing dragon. I think the only chance that the sorcerer ha sorcerers have in this sense is if the super peasant falls off the side. Because, again, the the only reason the Super Peasant's here is because it came out of the Present Elf's box. Oh, jeez. Freaking... Who's alive? Who's left alive on the Sorcerer's side? Oh, the Ice Mage. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Uh, yep. Yeah, there she goes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, the only reason the Overpowered won that one is because of the present elf. Otherwise, they would not have survived. It looks like the Chronomancer and the Void Monarch were still in, so... Even if the Super Peasant failed... Then they would have still been able to... Probably rain hell. But on to the next battle. That is one. I repeat, one for the Overpowered. That is the first battle done. Is the present elf gonna bring out another gigantic enemy let's see begin slow it down oh yep captain got lightninged again oh blackbeard he's making it rain okay this time let's watch and see what comes out of this present it's what is that uh what is that is that an ice archer i think that's an ice archer yeah, that is a nice archer, which looks like it just got scorched. And the present elf? Oh, I think the present elf is dead, so that means there's going to be no more surprises. Oh, and the healer is healing the dragon, actually. So that's going to be good. They still haven't... <gasps> the Divine Arbiter! He's using his power on the cactus. Oh, oh, hold on. I, I want to zoom in for this. I want to see I want to see this happen, because I love the Divine Arbiter's ability. I love it. Come on, strike him down. Strike him down with your power. Oh! Cactus got... Cactus got obliterate. Oh! Shoot! The dragon's still alive somehow. Oh! The Void Monarch is entering his true form. Okay, this is the sickest thumbnail on the planet. And we see the Divine Arbiter right down there. If he can get off his ability again, the Sorcerers may have a good chance of winning. But let's go. Oh, yeah, I definitely... Oh! Oh! His ability went off back here. But who did... Oh, it looks like it didn't really do much of anything. Oh, the Tempest... Okay. I can't even tell who's still alive or not! I just can't tell! Wait, is this... What's happening?! What is happening?! Oh, Blackbeard! Wait, is the Tempest Look the only one alive? Oh, yeah, Tempest Look is the only one... Okay, Tempest Look was the only one alive! But, man, the Overpowered are... They're not- they're not showing any mercy! They're not showing any mercy, but... Wow. They managed- the sorcerers managed to bring freaking carnage! And I feel like if the- 
if the Void Monarchist wasn't able to get into his full form, they still had freaking Blackbeard. I, and right over here, I can't tell who's red and who's not red. But I, I guess if these two failed, then they still would have had the Chronomancer to come in and do some work. But hey, red already has two wins. If they get one more win, they are the winners of the Tabs Custom Faction Tournament. Is this going to be the final battle already? I feel like a good strategy for the for the sorcerers is if they take out the cat everyone in the front lines right away. That way, the, the divine arbiter has a chance to target one of the enemies in the back. But no one in this game knows how to use their brain, so let's just watch the carnage begin. There it is again, attacking the captain. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It, th there's no way. There's no way he's already dead. There's no way he's already dead. Can I see his... Uh, I can't even see where his eyes would be. So, oh, oh. I, I, I saw a quick... Oh! No, I see his eyes. He's still alive. That still gives them a chance. But man, look at all of this. Never mind. Here is the thumbnail to finish it all off. Continue! Oh, the Divine Arbiter ability. Oh, the dragon. Oh, gee! Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Pause it because. Oh! <laughs> Here's one of the holders of the dragon getting freaking flown away. Oh, the super boxer. He's still. I think it's safe to say what the outcome of this is going to be. Because, yep, there's a Tempest Lick. It doesn't look like there's anyone else. Oh, wait! The Solar Architect. May eh, maybe not. Oh, no, the Divine Arbiter. You know, if he were alive, he, he would probably take them all out with ease. But you know what? Let's just lay back and watch the carnage unfold. That was some very, like, uninteresting carnage. But hey, you know what? These have been some great battles, so you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to change the rules. Why? Because it's my series! It's the first, now it's going to be the first one, two five wins. Let's give the sorcerers a chance. Sorcerers, win at least one. I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourselves. Now begin. This time we're not even going to slow it down or anything. We're just going to watch everything unfold. Oh, dragon dead. Oh, the Divine Arbiter. Wait, is, he, is Divine Arbiter still alive somewhere? Oh, no, he's not. Um, guys, you're not looking so hot. They only need one more win to completely do it. They couldn't even kill a cactus! You're really starting to disappoint me. This is your final chance, sorcerers. Begin. Damn, the dragon! Well, this time the Chronomancer actually managed to get his power off, but in the end, it wasn't meant to be. It just wasn't meant to be, sorcerers. So it looks like we have our final outcome. And ladies and gentlemen, here are your overall winners for the Tabs Custom Faction Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Overpowered, living up to their name. And I kind of should have guessed it. But you know what? The Sorcerers, they put up a tremendous fight, but in the end it just wasn't meant to be. I feel like if we had the normal rules, they would have had a better chance of winning. But hey, it's the finale. We had to go big or go home. 
And it looks like the sorcerers finally went home. They finally found an enemy that was way too powerful for them. But ladies and gentlemen, I've been FlozMG. This has been the Tabs Custom Faction Tournament. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Station. You don't gotta worry, cause it don't matter, I'm anti-social